at one point, I think everybody who's played, who's a freshman right now, has thought about quitting out at some point in the season because we're not getting any playing time and we just feel like we should because it's football we need to play. With only two games left for the Culver football program, the junior varsity squad has yet to play a game. A combination of moving to nine-man football, transportation issues, official shortages, and a lack of players from opposing teams all combined have kept the Bulldogs off the field. To go nine-man and then not to have that JV game when you have 30-plus people on your roster, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, what did we accomplish by going nine-man uh, in Culver? Really nothing. The coaches aren't the only ones upset about the non-existent season for these young athletes. After a last-minute cancellation by Lowell's JV Team Friday, Culver players had enough. They protested by refusing to travel with the varsity team and stayed home. To show the coaches uh, that we're kind of frustrated. We are still a valuable part of the team, but when we don't get treated like everybody else, then it, it hurts us too. I thought it kind of put a pretty good outlook because now the coaches are paying more attention to us. And it didn't just get the attention of the coaching staff, but the whole community, including the Culver Boosters Club and school board. Start sending letters to OSAA and just come together and show them, you know, tell them this is what's happening here. This is what's happening with our JV program. If it continues like this, why would a kid want to play his freshman year? It's, it's going to destroy the program. Culver Athletic Director Alex Carlson says scheduling makeup games isn't so easy anymore with the closest nine-man team being more than two hours away and all the Bend and Redmond schools in the same league playing each other. Now he's turning to the Oregon School Activities Association for help. We kind of want to have some answers from OSA to say, hey, what are those options? What should we be doing? How do you think we should go through this landscape? And let them know how it's affecting our community and our program. And to say, hey, if, if something doesn't change, we're going to lose young people and we can't have that happen. Steelhaugen, Central Oregon Daily News.